Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI recently launched O3 and O4 Mini, and they are still not able to take the lead. That's why I thought I'd talk about these models and where they are being placed. Now, O3 is the same model, but a little quantized for inference. And even after the whole hype, that it is so good and whatnot, it is still not as good in general tasks which is very much expected, and it also costs a ton. Just for context, the O4 Mini model costs about $1.10 or $0.275 with catching for input and $4.40 for output, which is good pricing. Like, it's pretty good, which is great to see from OpenAI. O3 is super expensive and costs about $10 or $2.50 if catched for input and $40 for output. Now, this is good pricing for O4 Mini, but the pricing is actually very strategically placed. So, there are three reasoning efforts for O4 Mini and O3, and most of the benchmarks that you see are for high reasoning effort. Now, the high thinking mode means that you'll be charged more because the models also charge for thinking tokens, which are not given to the user. So, in high thinking, it will always produce more thinking tokens, which will make it expensive. And this is also visible in Ader's benchmark. In Ader's benchmark, it comes quite close to Gemini 2.5 Pro, but for 2x the price while performing slightly worse. And this is for the high option. So, it still can't beat Gemini 2.5 Pro, and O3 scores high, but costs almost 20 times as much for like 7% higher benchmark scores, which is just not good. I mean, it's fine for ChatGPT, I guess, but still, the model is just not as good as I would have liked. Gemini 2.5 Pro also charges you for thinking, but they don't have a reasoning effort thing and it automatically uses the best thinking to do the stuff, which is great and is still great in comparison. I don't get what OpenAI is trying to do. Their models keep becoming higher in cost and only perform worse in most tasks, and there is a better and cheaper alternative available somewhere else. The GPT 4.1 followed in the same footsteps, and none of their models break the threshold anymore they are still only playing catch-up. When they talked about O3, it would have been good. But now, we already have models that are not only on par, but also cheaper. I mean, a model that is 20x cheaper and only 7% worse is basically a super good economical deal. And Gemini 2.5 Pro is even free to use in Google AI Studio, while O3 or O4 Mini is not. To be honest, I have also tested it, and it performs well in the questions. But when you go to use it, you'll see that it starts charging you a ton with something like Klein, while Gemini keeps itself very limited to not thinking as much, and also charges you less. This is still higher in cost, even though it has catching built in. See, I'm not being a hater or anything but the fact that O4 Mini is higher in cost, and even higher than Gemini, 2.5 Pro should be addressed. Many people claim that it's cheaper than Gemini 2.5 Pro, but it in fact isn't. It's like if a model that is two times cheaper generates ten times more tokens to get the same answer, then it makes it higher in cost, not cheaper. OpenAI obviously knows how to play their cards, right in order to make most of the consensus believe that they are cheaper and the best. But in fact, it is higher in cost, which blows my mind. It tells you that yes, they might have caught up, but it is still not economical. Gemini has nailed the pricing very well, and is actually a great model, and probably DeepSeek's new models will also be able to beat it. They don't have the one-year lead that they used to have anymore. And now they are actually in the backlog and not able to compete in both terms of model performance and costs. I mean, 
no one will pay $100 for a 7% performance increase. It's just absurd. And they are even apparently coming out with O3 Pro. So, I don't know what to say. Their codex CLI also seems to be fine, and nothing extraordinary either, and is fine nonetheless if you wish to use that. It uses the Responses API, which is a new thing, and won't allow you to use it with anything that is OpenAI compatible, as most of them support the simple API thing. It looked good on paper, but the everyday usage makes it kind of bad. Also, they are apparently in talks of buying out Windsurf, which explains why Windsurf is giving the OpenAI models for free these days to onboard more and more users. I mean, it's fine as most of the model providers are getting in the distribution game. So, it only makes sense. Also, you might see the Gemini 2.5 Flash being released in the next days, as that is being made ready, and also a Gemini 2.5 coder also seems to be coming, which is what I'm really excited about. OpenAI has been on a roll of disappointment for me, and there's no model from them to which I can switch to as of now. It just seems that they are trying to make as much profit to make them profitable, which will only make it bad. I hope Gemini 2.5 Flash Encoder come out soon, and that way we'll be able to get a better model. Gemini models are generally super cheap, which is what I really like about them as well. I'm also excited for DeepSeek R2, which should give them an even bigger run for their money. Another thing that I don't get is that Sam Altman had said that they'll open source a model that is going to be state-of-the-art, but they are themselves not able to compete in the state-of-the-art center for closed source models. So, I don't know if they would even be able to compete in the open options, but we'll see about that if it ever happens, or if it doesn't. I was not impressed by the models, and that's why I thought to talk about these models. There are many posts claiming on the internet that these models are cheap and whatnot, but in fact, they aren't and are actually pricier, and they are not as good either. I have also used them and didn't find anything useful either. Let me know if you guys have used it and how it worked out for you, or if it didn't. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!